Hey everybody, this is Crystal Lee, aka Kaylee. Yes, the happy coach. I wanted to bring you guys a special video for Total Restoration. I said I was going to do it on January 3rd, so let's do it. Okay, so the Lord told me, now it's been about three days. So he said, Crystal, I was talking to the Lord and I was like, you know, Lord, I could do this or I can do that. Kind of like when you play the game of trouble, which I've been playing a whole lot of because of this whole Christmas season and everything. So in trouble, you know, you have a lot of men that you want to get home. So the objective is to get all three of them home. So you keep making sacrifices to, you know, get this one home or get that one home. And um, I was like, you know what? There are choices that I make and we make in life that will basically benefit this or that. You know, it's kind of like if I do this, then it'll benefit my career. If I do that, it'll benefit my family. And if you're married with children or what have you, you might make decisions and you'll say, oh, that'll benefit my children and benefit this. And the Lord said, Crystal, you know what? You need to take the or out of the vocabulary and make it and. And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> So when you break it down, what does and mean? How can you take out or and put and? And the short answer is when when we say that we're going to follow something that the Lord told us to do and, you know, try to, you know, do other things with it. If it doesn't go together, meaning if you can't put the Lord first, the Bible says put forth first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. If we put his kingdom first, meaning anything that is subpar or below his standard, he says, my ways are above your ways. He says a lot of things that warn us that, that his way is the right way. It's the best way, the ideal way. And, and yet we, we make up our, our mind and we say, oh, well, I can, I can do this because this is what the Lord says, but then the world says this, or this man says that, or this woman says this. And I just want to encourage you, if there are people in your life that is trying to dissuade you from actually doing what the Lord, thus says the Lord, <laughs> the Most High, then I want to encourage you that you need to know in the realm of, of dealing with the Most High, He wants you to do what He says and not sin. Like, uh, like Paul said, I've become all things so that I may win souls and not sin. So we can't say, oh, in order for us to, you know, witness to people or to be in a relationship or to have, you know, a career or a business or what have you, and for it to do well and for the Lord to bless it, that we have to take out the and and put in an or. Because if you put in the or, you're no longer operating in the way that the Most High wants us to operate. But now you're operating the way you want to operate. And he says, you know, you know, the, the plans of man is many. And it's true. You know, I love the verse that I put out too on just the thought recently, which was coming from Proverbs 4, 7. And it says, you know, to seek wisdom is the key, but in all thy getting, get an understanding. In our lives, we get a lot of things, right? We buy a lot of things. We kill ourselves for things. We kill our, ourselves to get stuff, get people, get things. But I, I love how the Lord says, in all thy getting and everything that you get, get an understanding because just because days and weeks and years pass by and you basically are are living your life and and doing things and, and and obtaining things and getting things doesn't mean you totally understand what even is going on i know um we laugh at the the hebrew nation that was lost in the wilderness for 40 years but have we really thought about how many people are lost for their entire life so how many people never get god how many people die in their sins how many people have have heard the gospel but they reject the gospel and then they don't ever get another chance to come back around and you look at that person and you're like man they so stupid but but no they're not that stupid they just live in a reprobated life and we pray that when we live a reprobate life that the lord will have mercy on us and give us a chance to be able to hear them and see them but the truth is not everybody's going to get these chances and these this grace that everybody assumes is to everybody uh, the Lord says, I have mercy on whom I choose to have mercy. So that may not be us all the time. It may not be you. It may not be me. And no one can tell you when your mercy is going to run out or how long it's even going to exist. Because the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart. Not because he made Pharaoh something he was not, but because he showed Pharaoh who he is. And and, it's, and even Samuel, came, or excuse me, not Samuel, Saul. When Saul fell, Samuel came to him and said, Saul, don't lie to me. Just tell me. Tell me the truth. You know, tell the Lord. You're not lying to me. And that's the truth with us. When we think we're lying to, to um, 
to people or, or even to ourselves or whatever, to God. You can't lie to God. The Lord knows all things. He said all things. <laughs> he knows all things. He knows us better than we know ourselves. In fact, he says, I knew you before you were born. And that's why he can say, Jacob have I loved and Esau have I hated. And there was nothing <laughs> either one of them did to earn it. It was just the Lord's you know, intuition to know who we are and what we are. And that's why it's so important that we take the or out of our vernacular and put in the and because when we do what the lord says and not sin then that's when we can really live a blessed life a happy life a great life so if you want to just continue to stay you know a part of what the lord is going to be doing this year with total restoration i want to encourage you to listen you know um come in the week of january the 15th we'll have new weekly shows coming out for you keep you uh definitely you know blessed getting great messages and knowing how you can really live this life and have you know restoration and total restoration and everything and every aspect of your life so i want to encourage everybody wish you a happy new year if you want to learn more about what i'm doing you can go to trtug to like this page and get more connected you can also find me at kle coach um, coaching with ing or k lee coach as well and my new website is happy coach k lee which is actually going to be it's actually launched already so you can check that out it's a lot of stuff great stuff going on this year and if you want to give me a call for something that's coming up speaking engagement or etc you can call the office at 770-240-0089 and dial extension zero and someone will be in touch with you very soon all right y'all well happy new year and thank you so much for watching this special video from yours truly crystal lee aka kaylee bye bye for now